Hey everybody, video tutorial number four. John Hardison here with you from Studio 113 and Epic Academy at East Hall High School in Gainesville, Georgia. Please check us out. Let's look at class setup for this video tutorial. Let's say you want to add a class roster. Click on classes and students. I already have an American Lit test class in here. We may look at that in just a minute. If you were going to add a new class, you could go right here and add them one by one, but Infuse Learning has added this import students once I go here I could again upload a Microsoft Excel document of my students I also could click here and go to instructions which I did the first time and it kicks me to snap guide I love it that uh, infuse learning is using snap guide to help you out so I went through this quick picture tutorial and I learned how to upload my roster very very simple cool way of introducing that you can download the template which is Microsoft Excel. It looks something like this. Class, first name, last name, ID. ID is optional. And then I would simply, well, I would simply set it up here. And go with a famous NASCAR driver. So I could put all of this information in and then I could go back to upload a class roster with my Microsoft Excel document. Now I'll back out of this and we'll actually take a look at my class. This may have taken me, I don't know, after I put the names into Microsoft Excel it may have taken me one minute to upload and then everything was taken care of. Of course this is a fictitious class, would love to have these students. Let me go back here and go to home and what I want to do is show you how I could actually start my class. So if I were to start my class, I could go to Start Class and Attendance. I want to start my American Lit Test class. Here it comes up. You can see that all of this is grayed out because nobody is in the class. But what I'll do is I'll notice that my number has changed. I think in video tutorial number one I said that the number stays the same. It stays the same as long as it is the open enrollment. It will never change. But if it's one of your class rosters then right here you'll see that indication and then right here the number changes every time you open up your class. So I'm looking for this number and let's go to my hover cam to see a student log in. So Again, what was my number? I got to go back. Excuse me, 95498. 95498. And then I'm going to type in the student's name. Again, a famous NASCAR driver. And connection is successful. It will say waiting for activity in the room. So I would have to go back as a teacher to my dashboard. You can see that Ricky Bobby is now present in the class and is waiting on an assignment. And then I could go to my home button. My class is still open. And then I could go to a quiz or I could go to a quick response. Let's just throw a quick response on. Let's go to a true false. True false. Go. Ricky Bobby is the only one in the class. He has not completed the assignment yet. Let's go to hover cam. There it is waiting on him and Ricky Bobby knows the answer to the question that the teacher would have asked is true and there you go grayed out here's the summary this is what he said very very simple stuff don't forget I can always go to connected students to see who is still connected who is still working and then I could go back to manage all my quizzes and Continue to give them assignments. Very, very cool stuff from Infuse Learning. This is the last of the video tutorials. Please look at video tutorial number one that talked about quick assessment, video tutorial number two that talked about interactive tools, and then number three which talked about quiz management. This is a very cool website. I have had no problems, no glitches. Everything has been very, very smooth. So I would definitely add it to my tech toolbox. I hope all is going well, you all. Thank you.